Hey, what's going on guys? This is Rob at and uh, on Saturday I released a video on how to root your Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, but if you noticed, after you root your phone about, I guess maybe the second reboot, when you turn your phone you had a little Samsung logo then an unlocked icon here. And if you went into your settings, uh, say you went down to the more tab, go to the bottom, hit about device, and hit status, if you go all the way down, it would say custom. Right now it says uh, official on my phone. Uh, right now I'm, I'm currently unrooted. Uh, let me show you real quick. Where is that app? Root checker. So right now I'm going to check for root. And you can see I'm not rooted right now. Uh, the phone is completely stock again. Uh, it has all my apps still installed. I didn't do a factory reset or nothing like that. I'll reboot the phone and show you what I'm talking about here. Just give it a second here. Alright, see it boots up normal like just a regular Galaxy S4. There's no, no crazy uh, lock icon or any of that good stuff. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is how to root the phone and then how to remove the lock icon without a factory reset. It's very simple, it takes about two minutes to do and, uh, and it keeps your phone without having any problems. Um, it does. It still does alter the system folders, but they're not noticeable. So the phone doesn't detect it. It doesn't know it's been tampered with, and it will still say official. So what you want to do is uh, this. This also uh, works on a, a, a fresh phone. Don't have to be you know customized stuff. Uh, hit settings. Uh, hit more. Go down to about. See this developer option. You want this, but you don't have it if you just got the phone. So what you want to do is you want to go to about device, go down on build number, and you're going to hit this a few, a few times. And you see it says developer's already turned on. If you keep hitting this, it's going to say hit three, four, whatever more times until developer mode is enabled. When you get that open, hit this, make sure USB is not plugged in. You want to check USB debugging. You want to keep that checked. You want to make sure your Samsung drivers are installed. I have a link for all this information uh, under this video. Uh, to the page with a step-by-step -step guide, so it'd be really easy to do. Then you want to take your uh, the Samsung USB cable. You can use some aftermarket cables, but sometimes they don't work completely. So I recommend using a cable that came with the phone for the best results. Go ahead and plug that in. Turn your phone. Make sure your phone stays lit up. Okay. Keep it on your home screen. Then you're gonna open up Moto Chopper, uh, and you're gonna hit the Run Me. Okay. So go ahead and run, hit Run there. Hit enter, waiting for device, and it has started the uh, ADB. If you get a pop up here that says trust this device, hit OK. If you get another one that says trust unknown sources or trust applications, hit OK on that too or hit apply. Um, after that, it's going to copy all these root files over. Uh, go ahead and hit enter, and it's going to reboot your phone. All right, and on the first reboot, you're not going to see the little lock icon. I'm going to reboot one more time and you'll see it pop up. So, go ahead and let this do its thing. You go ahead, you're going to plug it at this point. We don't need the computer no more. Um, so that's done. The rest, the rest of these steps are pretty simple. You have to be signed into your uh, Google account because we have to get to the Play Store and download an app. We got down two apps actually. Um, and I'll show you what those are in a minute here. All right, in order to get Blue Checker, checker uh, it's very easy. Just go into the go into the Play Store, and you can type in Root Checker right there. And you can install that. It's free to install. After you install that, you can check for root. Now we have root, but we want to get rid of the lock icon. So what you do. You're going to go in here, and you're going to type in super su whoops it's a little hard doing this one on the behind the camera here don't get super user get super su super user is a little old and out of date get the free version hit install hit accept It's about one to two megabytes around there, so it's not a real big download. Go ahead and open that up, and you're gonna update the binaries. So 
It says as you need to be updated, continue, hit continue, and you're gonna grant it permissions too. Uh, for Super SU, you want to hit normal. We do not have recovery in this phone, so hit the normal install, grant it permanent permissions, hit allow, it's installed, it says success. Hit OK, we're done. No thank you. Okay, now as you can see, everything's up to date. This is the latest Super SU. Now the next step is to back to the Play Store and you can download ES File Explorer. Right there. This app is also free. Go ahead and open it up after you download and install this. If it asks for permission, like you just did, hit grant. Okay. Now, um, this here, we're going to use this in a minute. So just keep this to the side. Okay. Now, go to settings. Then go to, uh, what was it? I think it's more. Yeah, go to more and hit application manager. And you are going to install super user, not super SU. So scroll down a little bit. You have a super SU and you have super user. Super user will use to root the phone event, uh, in the beginning. So go ahead and hit that. Hit uninstall. Hit OK. That's gone. Okay. Now the verifier was still rooted. Open root checker. Hit verify. And there you go. Hit grant and we are still rooted. Now, here's a test. Reboot your phone. And we're going to see if the icon's gone. If it's not gone the first reboot, reboot one more time and it will be gone. Alright, as you can see, the icon's still here. So I'm going to reboot one more time. And on the second reboot, this icon should be gone. We should be back to the stock Samsung screen again. Alright, phone's booted back up. Go ahead and hit reboot again. Alright, the phone's booting back up, and you see the lock icon is gone, and we are still rooted. Um, now, say you want to get rid of root completely, you want to unroot your phone. Alright, that's pretty easy. Uh, what you would do is, let the phone boot back up here and I'll show you in a minute. You're going to open up the, uh, the App Store, I'm sorry, the Play Store. And, uh, give me a second here. You can open up the Play Store. Let me find it for a second here. It's hard to see this thing. Thing blends in there. I just right, passed it. Alright, so you open the Play Store up and you're going to type in ES File Explorer. All right, so we have that already installed. After that, you're going to go to the root, root explorer, and you're going to grant it to get grant root access, of course. And you're going to go down to system, and you go all the way down to XBin. This is where the busy box is installed that you we originally had uh, when we first root the phone with the, with the script. So BusyBox is on here. I already deleted mine, but I'll put it back in a minute. But um, you would uh, check BusyBox and check SU as in here. But before you do that, hit Menu, hit Root Access, and hit Mount RW, and go ahead and mount all these as RWs. This will let you delete uh, files in your root. So hit, you want to long press uh, BusyBox, and you want to scroll down to the S's here, and you want to long press SU also. Now they're both checked. Do not delete anything else in this folder, or for a whole phone that matter. Uh, we do not have recovery at the moment. Uh, there's no system backups. You delete something out of here, your phone don't boot, that's your problem. I'm warning you right now, don't do it, because if you do, it's not gonna be a good day for you. Go ahead and hit delete on that. And it has been deleted. 
Okay, then go to the super user app. Yeah, hit cancel that. Let me see something here. Since we deleted the SU binary already, uh, that means it's it's uh, that's already deleted. So you can do here is go to system settings, go to more, application manager, go down to super SU. Where'd it go? Right there. Clear data and then hit uninstall. Okay. When that's done, go ahead and reboot your phone again. Restart. Let the phone reboot. Now, the phone is unrooted. Uh, my root app is still installed. Uh, my Titanium backup files are still installed. Everything's just like it was. Nothing's been altered. Um, if you if you open a root checker and it still says you're rooted, um, you're not. I mean, if you install a new app and request root access, nothing's going to happen because you're not rooted. It's just it still has the root enabled, but it's, the phone itself isn't rooted no more. So you go ahead and uh, we can check root root checker and see what it says this time around. And we are not rooted no more. So the phone has not been rooted. If you want to go to system settings, go to more, go to about device, go to status, and on the very bottom it says official. So you can see it there. See? So it's like it's never been touched. Then all you gotta do is do a factory reset, return your phone, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna root your device again, um, go to the Play Store and download the Super SU, but don't open it. Just download it for now, because you're gonna need it in a minute anyway. And just do the the guy like I, like we did in step one. Just go ahead and uh, and reroute your phone with the exploit that's in step one. Uh, and then go from there, you know, go to step two, uh, which we do is install this in step two, then go ahead and uninstall the old super user, run this, and you should be good to go. Oh, well, actually, you don't even have to. It's already good. So we're rooted again, and this time it's already installed. So now open root checker again, and we are rooted again. So that, my friends, is how you root your Samsung Galaxy S4 uh, and how you remove the unlocked icon from the boot screen. And there you go. This is Rob with AndroidTechie.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, subscribe to our channel, give us some comments, give us a thumbs up, and like us on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you for watching.